1 and welcome to my long Halloween video edit. Uh, well, we are in chapter 13 or issue 13, which is the last the last chapter of this story arc. Well, where I will start? Well, on issue 12, where I show you the last page that will it was revealed the face of Holiday. Well, here I'm going to show you who is Holiday. Check that out. Well, Holiday happens to be Alberto, the Roman's son, the one who was killed on the, I think it was on Christmas, the one that he was on the cruise ship, the good son. The one that he wants to be part of the family business, but his father didn't want it to because, well, he's the one who went to college, he's the good son. So, he is Holiday. So, there's a big fight between Holiday, Batman, and James Gordon. The thing is that on issue 12, that we see that he attacked one of the bodyguards of, I mean, not one of the bodyguards, one of the cops. Well, that cop happens to be Batman. This guy's as a policeman. So there's a big fight here and there, till finally, I mean, Batman almost killed him. I mean, Batman on this issue here, he, he almost beat the hell out of Holiday, which James Gordon had to tell Batman, look, stop. I don't want you to do something that, that both of us might regret. So Batman just stopped beating him up. But he actually broke Holiday's both arms, a couple of ribs. I mean, he actually beat the hell out of him. So there's the big news outside that finally Holiday's being caught. And then we get to see Holiday here on prison, where he, gonna, where he gets a visit from his father. Falco. The Roman family. So they are talking while Batman and James Gordon are looking through the, the two-way glass, I think that is called. So they are talking and his father says, look, uh, you just play guilty by killing such, uh, just one person, forget the other ones, I can get you out of here because all have you done is been nonsense. So, Holiday, he got mad at his father. He said, look, do you actually remember when is my birthday? And the thing is that all the reason why Alberto, he did what he did is because he never got his father's attention. That's the whole thing. So, we get to see the reason why he did it, you get to see here, it here, which I already told you. But, you know, this is the kind of story where the, when you think it's finished, well, actually, the story has like a different ending. I don't know if that, make, if that makes any sense, because even though the story is finished, there's another ending. It has a lot of twists. So, the story ends, when Holiday is talking to his father. And he tells his father, I am not Alberto, I'm Holiday. So, the story is finished. Up to here. Then from there we go to Harvey Dent's house, where we get to see uh, James Gordon and his, uh, his daughter and his son that went over there to say, trick or trick and spend some time with them because Harvey Dent had been missing as we know what happened to him on the courtroom where somebody crow acid on his face and that's when he turned out to be two face so from there we move to Arkham Asylum there we get to see the calendar man and somebody's talking to him saying Sorry. And you get to find out that he's two-faced because we get to see, I mean, anybody who can flip a coin, automatically we can assume that he's two-faced. 
So we get to see that from there we go to the Roman's penthouse and we get to see the old guy all pissed off and frustrated because of his son and this and that and blah 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 and then suddenly his penthouse is being attacked all over the place all he all the guys have been attacked and his house being invaded by almost all Batman Rose Gary. So we got a Roman's house we got Cadmon. Scarecrow, Poison Ivy, Penguin, Two-Face, Joker, uh, Mad Hatter, and Grundy. Incredible. I mean, well, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bad guys. And they're all crazy. Except about Catwoman. You know, I still don't know why Catwoman always appear when something's happening with their romance. Still don't know why. I still don't know the connection between the romance and the Catwoman. And I guess I will never want to find out. So we see that they are, that then we are talking. And then Two Face tells him, Look, I'm sick and tired of you dividing the city in two between good and bad. And I'm tired that the Roman family is taking over the city or controlling the city. My city, as we can see here. So after that, actually, Two face shoot, shot him, and kills the Roman, the old guy. And then, at that moment, Batman shows up, start fighting with everybody. Everybody's fighting everybody. Batman asks Catwoman, "What side are you on?" <coughs> and she says, uh, "The same size I'm always on." Well. We never get to find out which side she is because she's always been in that thin line between the good and the bad. So, which I forgot to mention something. After all the confrontation is over, actually all the fighting, we get to see that Harvey Dent has the Roman guy, the old guy, as a hostage, talking with Batman. And Batman said, look, let me go. This is not you, I can help you, we can get you help, and we, got you, uh, we will get you all better. But, Two-Face actually shot, as we can see here. Shot the old guy, the Roman guy, Arbetos or Holiday's father. Because he made a promise to, actually he made a deal with Batman and James Gordon, one of the issues on the rooftop, to bring down the the Mafia family. So while all that is going on, uh, Gloria, Roman's daughter, the one who was released from jail, remember, that? remember her? Well, she burst in, screaming, oh, I'm gonna kill you, and she started fighting with Catwoman. And they both lose the balance and fell off the window. Which, Catwoman managed to, to grab something, not to fall, but Gloria, well, well, she fell off the building, she's dead. So after that we see that Holiday and ba uh, Holiday, Two-Face and Batman are talking and by chance Two-Face managed to punch Batman and he escaped. Two face skin. And then he goes to Harvey Dent's, uh, he go to his office. Remember this guy, uh, Vernon, that uh, used to be Harvey Dent's uh, assistant? Well, he was, a he was the snitch for the Mafia family, for the Roma family. So he goes there and he tells. Vernon, look, I know who you are, I know you are the, the snitch to the Roman family, and I'm here to fix it up. And Vernon said, please don't shoot me. Well, he shot and left the gun and a coin. Now, all this is happening in Halloween. So actually, we went back to the beginning of the story. Start, all the killing starts in Halloween day. So I guess all the killing, the killing will finish in Halloween also. A year after. Wow. So while all that is going on, 
Harvey then says, look, well, I killed two people and everything's over. And he says, Batman says, why? And Harvey then says, well, because we need to, because I did what needs to be done. And it's over. So actually, uh, Two-Face, actually he gives up and he goes to jail. But Two-Face say something. Two-Face tell Gordon and Batman, well, see how the law and order handle, <clears throat> excuse me, Harvey Dent. One second, you both know, don't you, there were two holiday killers. So now, we thought it was Harvey Dent, which not happened to be Harvey Dent. And then we get to see, we get to find out that it was Alberto, the one who was shot way in the beginning of the story. Now Two-Face came up with this. There's two holiday killers. So in a way, Two-Face was holiday just in this specific day on Halloween. So, you know, as, uh, once, I, once I read I said, okay, well, that makes sense. The Harvey Day happens to be holiday because he killed two people on Halloween day, which is a holiday, so that makes sense. So, in the end, Harvey then was holiday too. Then from there, we uh, from there we go to Gordon's house. He's spending time with his with his kid, and we get to see Batman. And the thing is that Batman, he's kind of feel guilty because because he was out small. Because all the time while Batman thinks it was Harvey Dent was holiday, it was not holiday. It was Alberto. But Batman knew that Alberto to pull up to pull up that kind of stunt, he cannot be walking alone. He need to have somebody. He need to have help to disappear for a whole year. So from there Remember one of the issues that, uh, what was the name of the, the guy, uh, da, 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 da. the first civilian guy was killed, the holiday killed the first civilian, not belong to the mob family. Well, that guy, he was the only one who knew that, that the body that was on the casket on Alberto, it was not Alberto, it was some other, some other dead body taking his place. So that's why Holiday shot that civilian guy. Now everything makes sense. After that we go to Harvey Dent's house. Uh, this is the best part. And we get to see his wife Hilda burning stuff on the fire. A hat, a jacket, Gloves, gun, everything. So what she's saying is that she was holiday also. Believe it or not. Because one of the killings was done by Harvey Dent. Because he took the opportunity that will be Blame to Alberto. So actually, in the end, we have three holidays. We have Alberto, Harvey Dent, which happened to make all his killing here on this day, but the main holiday was Hilda, Harvey Dent's wife. So, the story is end. Like I said before, it's kind of the story ends, but with a twist. So we got Alberto that he's in jail. Harvey Dent is in jail. But the real killer, which happened to be holidays, is Hilda's Harvey Dent's wife. Now go figure. I will I was I mean I was not expecting that. That just blew my mind. Because she was always worried about Harvey Dent. And she knew when she caught Harvey dead on the basement, 
and he says, well, I double this here because these, these are, uh, that I bring you home from the case that I am in a case that he's, that he's working. Evidence. She knew that Harvey Dent was, one time he was holiday. So, like I said, this is just the kind of story where the end, that the story ends with a twist. to say I mean <laughs> sorry it's not much to say it just ends like that Hilda Harvey Dent's wife burning stuff the gun the jacket the coat the gloves everything that she was using because she also says that remember one of the issues when one of the member or one of the family member of the mob dies and he gets home all wet well, that's where Hilda find out she knows that Harvey then he's the one who shot. The rest of, that's why Alberto, he never plead guilty to the rest of the killers. It did and it did not at the same time. So that's, like I said, it is a story that ends real nice with a twist. I never saw it coming. And overall, this whole thing of uh, the long Halloween, I have to say that, like I said before in the beginning of this, of this video, this is one of the best stories that I ever read. It was an awesome ride. And I, had, and, I will, and I will say that me reading all this, all, I mean, the, the whole story arc, it's been fun. And also it's been fun doing the videos. And I want to say thank you to the people that follow this <laughs> video event of this great story. I want to say thank you. And, and this is the end of uh, the chapter of one of the greatest stories ever done, in my opinion. And also, after this event was over, I think it was a year later, they came up with two more story arts. But I never read it, so I don't know what. It's kind of like a sequel to this one, to Hollywood, which I don't, I think it's called Victory, I think. Victory? Something like that, I'm not sure. But you can, uh, I think it's called Victory, or Victorious, something like that, I'm not sure. But it's a, it's a sequel to this story. Well guys, I hope that you like this whole video event. I wanted to say thank you everybody that have watched it. I wanted to say thank you to everybody that, ha that have left comments on the videos. And well, see you to my next video man. Yeah, I will come up with some with some story art from the 90s. I mean I got so many comic books from the 90s that so my probably I will found I will find some other great story art. I yeah, will make another video man. Hey who knows? Well guys this is it. I hope that you like it. See you later.